Hello everyone, welcome to this demo. In this demo, we are going to talk about it, how exactly we can do the installation of Maven on the Mac operating system. So here we are going to talk about it, how we can do for a specific setup where we can do for the installation of Maven in a Mac operating system. So let's see. So there are two ways of doing the installation here. First is through the uh, brew uh, executable on the Mac. Now this brew utility on Mac is just like apt or yum utility which is present in most of the environments or most of the platforms here. But here we are using this brew to do the installation of Maven on the Mac operating system. And again so next one is just in a, a particular mechanism where you should be able to have the setup like you can download the binaries from the Apache website and then you can export the m2 underscore home and the path variable so that you can start using the Maven executable. So we'll talk about these things and uh, we'll see that how exactly we can go for this setup. So let's log in uh, to a particular machine or Mac operating system so where we will be able to do all this activity. So this is the Mac system which we have here. Now in this one what we are going to do is that we are going to open the terminal. So we are going to open a terminal here. So this is my terminal. So usually in Mac uh, you don't require any other uh, mechanism. So the inbuilt terminal is more than sufficient for doing this stuff because it's similar to a Linux based platform here. So I'm going to run the command here. So first of all I'll just double check that if my brew executable is working fine. So I'll just run the brew help command to see that uh, if my brew is working fine as such over here in this one. Now I have the command called uh, brew install. So that is a command which we need to use. Now in this one we have to actually give the uh, specific package which we want to install so we will say like brew install maven so it will download uh, the uh, specific executables on the uh, system from the website it will download the uh, maven executables so it will take some time but ultimately it's trying to download it and uh, the particular tar file so you can see here that it's downloading a 3.6.3 tar file over here so uh, i can see that the installation is done so the 3.6.3 version should be installed over here so when I do like Maven uh, MVN under uh, hyphen hyphen version over here, so you can see that the 3.6.3 uh, version is deployed as such over here. Now this is something which is done with a purely command over here called brew, which really helps us to do any kind of package installations. Not only Maven, other packages also can be installed pretty much with the help of this executable. Now, in order to see the manual stuff, what we really need to do is that we need to actually clean this uh, specific installation so that I should I will be able to show you the manual installation also over here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to run the command called brew uninstall maven so that the maven should be removed from your system. So we are just trying to remove the maven from here and uh, you can see that the maven executable is not working as such over here. So which means that the maven is uninstalled in this case. But why I have uninstalled here? So that I should be able to go ahead and download some custom maven over here in this one. So I have opened the uh, browser here. So I'll go for the maven uh, executable. So we'll go for maven download so that we should be able to download a specific the executable here. So I'm going for this directory. So here 3.6.3 uh, version same is available here. So I'm going to download the bin.tar.gz which was uh, the file we have. So this is also a kind of a Linux platform, right? So that's the reason why uh, here the tar file should work perfectly fine. So here I'm going to the opt directory where we can have all the optionals uh, related packages. So if it is not there, so I can create a directory called slash opt. So I can uh, log in with root. So if you don't have the root access, so you can go for the applications. In the applications, you can actually create a directory called maven. So here I can go for maven. Yeah. So here we will be downloading the var file here. So the uh, tar.gunzip file we are downloading over here. So I'll give the path here. So once the uh, var file or wget command I am using to do the installation, but sometimes the wget is not available. So I can go for the brew install wget also. 
if uh, that package is available on brew the installation will be done so we'll try to do the installation using grubluget so that we will be able to get a tar file generated or downloaded there are other ways also you can download it, it from the browser also yeah you can go to the browser and here you can actually click and download it and then you can transfer it locally to this uh, specific directory also so both the possibilities are there but i'm just trying to download the wget command so that it will be easy for me to do the setup and to do the download over here so i'm going to run the same command again so it will download the tar file so this is the tar file which is available over here so i'm going to extract it over here so once the extraction is done so i'm going to rename it like to apache maven so that i should not have any kind of versioning or these kind of parameters over here and the apache dot uh, maven hyphen this star file i'm trying to remove as such over here so this is what i have got as an end result over here now this is the current directory in which i have these uh, applications and these setups going forward over here so if i run the mvn hyphen hyphen version command so that will not be giving me any kind of output over here because uh, still i have extracted the tar file but that is not the activity is not complete i have to exactly set up some environment variables so that i should be able to run this mvn command so what i really need to do over here is that we have to export certain variables application slash maven Apache Maven. So this is the home directory which I am trying to configure over here. And then next thing is that path variable. So I am going to have, uh, we are going to carinate the path variable with the folder. So I am going to have the folder structure here. So the bin directory we have to provide. So I am going to copy here and paste. And then I'm concatenate it with the bin here. So now my uh, environment variables are established. So my mvn hyphen hyphen version command, as you can see here, is that uh, you know it's being picked up over here, but it's saying that the particular Java runtime is not available. So I can go for Java brew install Java. So that should be enough there to install a Java package there. So you can see that it says that it's already installed. So and up to date. So that's the reason why it's not able to do the installation. So I'm going to reinstall Open JDK. Because what happens that when we do the installation, some environment variables related to Java should be uh, formatted or should be extracted over here, right? So as you can see that uh, here, it's saying that if you want to really use the executable of Java, you have to concatenate the path like this. So let's run that. And uh, then we can see that uh, the particular executable of Java will also be find out over here. So Java hyphen version showing that, yes, it's available there. And now my command, should be able to show me that yes it's working fine the jdk was already installed but the problem with that is that since uh, it's installed into a particular location so you have to actually override your path value so that you should be able to see in that directory and find out the java executable so that i have got by doing the deinstallation i got the command over there in the output saying that this is the installation which is done and now you just have to extract or you have to just you know put that path directory into the specified uh, path variable and that's how you got the maven and java both command lines working over here so this is how you will be doing the maven installations all together how the overall installation of maven and the jdk really works on mac operating system so that's it for this demo thanks Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.